Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth. I am Sananda. It may be boring for some, but I will never stop being grateful to be here at this moment communicating with all of you in this way. For a long time, my voice was propagated only by supposed statements I made that were completely distorted by men. Today I can put my voice, my thoughts, my heart in every word I say here. When I incarnated on this planet, like every human being, I was unaware of my mission, of what I would actually represent for the race on this planet. Until one day enlightenment arrived and everything made sense, everything fell into place and my soul could finally fulfill what it came for. Today every word I say here is an explosion of energy for whoever receives it. In the same way that anyone who opens the letters of Christ, when reading each word, is also flooded with a wave of energy, love and consciousness. How can this be? There are more things that you still do not understand, in addition to some that we have mentioned. Everything is possible within love. When you write something, a moment is immortalized there that will never be erased from the minds of those who lived it. You may even forget it but it will not be erased. If that little piece of paper, or parchment, or whatever, is preserved, there is an energy there, it has the energy that was put into it at the time of writing, and each letter, each twist, each line, adds up to a word, a line, a sheet, a large text, bringing immense energy to whoever reads it. Everything has energy, nothing is dead, as you like to say. The medium used to write those words, a liquid, something viscous, the hitting of a hammer on a stone, produced an energy that will be maintained at all times. Because that energy didn't come out of nowhere, it has an owner. That energy will only be erased if the soul is destroyed. It's as if a soul could scatter thousands of little pieces throughout the universe it passes through, and they all get stuck in some way that you still don't understand about that soul. That soul, as long as it has life, as long as it is active, the energy that it put into each act is maintained, because that energy belongs to it. If that soul is destroyed for whatever reason, everything ends, then yes, everything ends. Because there is no longer the source that generated that energy, everything becomes just cold, meaningless. It's as if you read a book and don't understand it because there is nothing there, there are just some forms, there is no intention, there is nothing. I am not going to comment here on why a soul is destroyed, this is not the focus of our subject. I'm just trying to bring to you the importance of everything you do, everything you touch, everything you create in your world. Everything you touch, that you put deep energy into there, it doesn't end that energy stays there as long as that soul lives. And when I talk about life, I don't talk about bodily life, I talk about soul life. As long as the soul is light or even if it is not light, as long as the soul exists. Many cannot understand how something done millennia ago can still have repercussions on their journey today. That's why your energy is in someone, in some event that happened back there, a long time ago. She didn't die, her soul is active. So that still weighs on your, let's put it in her soul story, it still weighs, it has a weight, positive or negative, it depends on the feeling expressed. Nothing is lost. Everything that emanates permeates the act that took place and this act has a weight, a consequence, a reaction. So your action, there will always be a reaction. If it was a positive action, the reaction will be positive. If it was a negative action, the reaction will be negative. So don't keep asking yourself why certain things happen. If you are going through a problem, rest assured, at some point in your soul's journey, this problem was created, you are just looking at its reaction. This is the learning of each soul. So back to my story. At that time when I challenged the powerful by bringing the truth that had been shown to me by Father or Mother God, could I have done differently, could I be alive today? Of course not alive bodily, 
but I could have stayed alive. And what would that be like? I would have remained silent, even though I knew everything that God the Father or Mother showed me, the whole truth, would I remain silent out of fear of those who dominated that time? So what would I be? A coward, I would not be worthy of the mission my soul has taken on this planet. Because when I received all those truths from Father or Mother God, I understood what needed to be fulfilled here on this planet. There would be a mission that would last a long time, even after my death. So I knew what the result would be, I always knew it, I just tried to gain time so that I could involve the hearts of as many people as possible. Today I'm here again, but in a different position, nothing threatens me anymore. I have the voice and I have all the time to bring my teachings. I can't say that many people try to silence my voice, they do, even today. But I can guarantee that she will never be silenced again. Each of us has a very special care for each of those who are our voices on this planet. Every channel on this planet is constantly being bombarded, so that it remains silent, so that it does not transmit our messages. It is up to each of us to protect them, keep them intact so that we continue to have a voice. And so we have done. Many succumb along the way, why? Because there was no heart there, there was only interest, of all kinds, no heart, no mission. Those who have a mission, we are together and their voices will not be silenced, because they are our voices. So I ask each of you at this moment, who believes in your heart, that the one speaking here is the soul of the one you once called Jesus, an evolved soul, with an immense mission with this planet, with this race, with you. And by believing that this is truly me, fill your hearts with light and love. Only that. Other positive feelings do not need to be encouraged, because they come together with love. So just emanate the only feeling capable of saving this planet as it is saving it, love. Save as many people as possible, because the more you emanate love, this energy is so powerful that it crushes any and all other negative feelings. As much as you may be led to believe otherwise. Don't fear anything. Threats will continue to exist. We are all ready. There is not a ship around your planet that is not ready for action. Any attempt to destroy your planet will be stopped. We only ask that you emanate love. Don't judge, don't feel anger, emanate love, always love. Fill your hearts with light and love and you will be able to change this planet. Don't be discouraged, don't feel powerless. You have our voices. Listen to every word spoken with love and you will be permeated by all this love. And tomorrow is our problem. Live in the here and now, receiving and emanating love. Tomorrow, which for us does not exist, but for you, we are taking care of. And certainly, despite everything that could happen, it will be for the best of the human race and planet Earth.